Enchanted Daydreamers. How are you guys doing today? My name is Melody and welcome to Enchanted Daydreams. Everything about Disney, Disneyland, Disney World, all things Disney. I am obsessed with and welcome to this channel. If you are new here and you just ran across my videos, press that red subscribe button and thumbs up and notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. I'm so excited because there are some new things coming. I create ears as a DIY in collaboration. I also like to make Disney trips and I also like to do unboxing. Today I'm doing some new favorite unboxing Disney. Real quick, I'd like to promote these. I bought these with the set of a lounge fly. And here we go. This is the Space Mountain lounge fly and ears. I didn't did not get the plush because I'm not really into plush, but this is partial of the set that goes with the plush. Some people really talk smack about this and the design about it. Let me tell you, I absolutely think it's genius. When I'm looking at these ears, uh, the rocket and the, uh, the space mountain, just love it. I think it's really nicely made. They're very sturdy. You won't, they won't go anywhere. And the headband is very comfortable. Not all uh, Disney ears are very comfortable, but this, this one just so happens to be comfortable enough for me. With that, uh, this is Space Mountain, and it has a matching rocket that's across my ears on the back. It says Space Mountain. And on the inside, I just thought this was so beautiful. I absolutely love the color purple. Um, is the Space Mountain stars from the ride. I absolutely love this. This is my one of my new favorite sets. I love the glitter ears, the glitter pockets, and it's very sturdy. It doesn't get dirty. Easy to clean. I like this kind of uh, pleather material because it's easy to clean. So that's my starter. I have some new things I have not opened yet. I Gosh, it's been like four months for some of these that I haven't opened the box. So I'm excited. My next new favorite is this. Obviously, it's still on its package. This lounge fly I got from Hot Topic. I ordered it. I thought it was so absolutely beautiful. Normal price is $44 at Hot Topic. Not bad for a lounge fly purse. I think I got it on sale for like 10% off. Um, and then I had some Hot Topic cash, so I got this at a cheap deal. Anyways, this is The Little Mermaid. I haven't taken it off. I haven't used it yet, but I just think this is so classy. I love it, and I love the seashells on the back with The Little Mermaid Castle, King Triton's Castle on the back. Now, some people like minimal Disney on their lounge flies? Not me. Do you know how many compliments I get for the lounge flies that I bring into the stores? And you know, they're always going, oh, how cute. I love it. And I'm like, thank you. So I'm all for it. I will go all out. It is just a plain blue on the inside and it comes with a strap. I have not opened this. This is the first time I'm opening this. So it is an official Disney lounge fly Little Mermaid purse. I just absolutely love this purse. I will be using it in the new, near future. Next, I got this from Box Lunch on sale. And let me tell you how much it is. This lounge fly was originally $96. I actually had a discount of $34 and ended up being $66. So this is a Danielle Nicole Cinderella um, nighttime castle. So I'm about to open this. I have not seen this in person yet. This will be the first time you guys get to see my reaction to this Danielle Nicole backpack. Oh, it's a little bit larger. Oh, what's this? It's a little bit larger than a lounge pod, but before I have my reaction to that, what is this? Did I buy something else? I completely forgot. I don't remember getting this. Did it come with the package? A 
It's Walt Disney World 50th anniversary mug with the Walt Disney World map on there with all the lands. And on the back, it's a 50th anniversary. I really don't remember ordering this. Normally $16, and I got it for $10. So yeah, I did order it, but I forgot. So $10, not bad, for a 50th anniversary. Okay, that makes me happy. <laughs> okay, so now we have Danielle Nicole backpack. This is a little bit bigger than a uh, lounge file. Let's do a comparison. This is a little bit more taller. This is a little bit more wider. So this has more narrowness. This has more thickness. But I do like that there's a clear pocket up front. I really like that. It has the clouds on the edges and it has the castle up front. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. If you guys can see it, it actually, yeah, you kind of see it. It shimmers in the light. And it'll probably be easy to clean as well. Oh, look at this. I like this little chain to lock it in place. So that way, uh, it I don't know, you can hang something from there. I think that's pretty nifty. We are going to go ahead and open this. We'll open the bottom. <gasps> I didn't know you can do this. That's why there's a chain here. Look at this mini purse with it. Oh, it has the inside of the castle when you take the mini purse out. This is a little holder for the purse. And you can see on the inside of the castle, the details of the inside of the castle. You can see Cinderella at the bottom down. <laughs> okay, listen, I love surprises. Let me tell you. Okay, the inside just says Daniel Nicole inscription in there. It says a DN, but what a cute little purse. I could put my cell phone and my wallet in here and just stick it in to the front here so I don't have to go digging for it in my original backpack. It has Disney zipper and it has Danielle Nicole on the zipper as well. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. Let's look inside. It's probably Danielle Nicole, but I would like to see it anyways. See how much room we have. Okay, so we have two pockets on the inside. That's very convenient. We have Danielle Nicole tag right there with a zipper pocket. And on this side, we have a little flap. Oh, two little flap pockets so you can put your pens and pencils or whatever you want in there. Plenty of room and space for wallet and water bottle. I think the next time I go to a Disney park, I will be using this Danielle Nicole backpack. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it's convenient and with lots of pockets and space. That's what I'm talking about, how you doing. All right, we've come to my favorite part of this video. I have been waiting to open this. Let's see if I open it the right, right here. This is from Sensi. I'm not a paid sponsor, but I would, but I got this from my friend who sells Sensi and I had to jump on this Scentsy warmer. I have a few Scentsy warmers. I have a Grogu warmer. I have a Peter Pan uh, Faith Trust and Pixie Dust warmer. I'm like staring at it right now, it's lit up. I have several uh, Disney warmers and I'm very picky choosy. I don't just get all the warmers. I don't like, you know, some of the cheap looking kid toy ones. I'm more of a collector kind. So this one is, like, let me just show you. I got Around the Campfire Scentsy Smells. I've never seen or smelt these. Oh, they almost smell like, what do they smell like? It's called Around the Campfire. No, it does not smell like Around the Campfire. It smells like something else. Hold on, let me open it. Actually, that smells like wood in the campfire. If you guys have been around campfires, you guys would know a distinct smell of a campfire, what bur wo burned, burning wood would smell like. That's delightful. This is the 50th anniversary celebration Scentsy Warmer. We have to open this and take a look. 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World Castle Oh, oh, we've got a 50th Scentsy certificate picture. 
instructions with Mickey and Minnie saying hello. And we've got, here's a little glass that you put the wax in. It has the 50th anniversary in there. It's probably backwards to you guys. I don't know. Let's turn it around this way. There you go. That's where you put the little wax in. I'm so excited about this, you guys. This, is, this has to be my new favorite piece. It is a little heavy, so I have to be careful with this. Oh, let's unwrap this puppy. Here you go. This is a Scentsy warmer. You guys, I will be smelling smells of Disneyland or wherever I else I want from this castle. This is the back of it. And this is the inside of it. Do you know how excited I am to have this? So we'll put, we'll put this little glass thing inside and the Scentsy will go there. There's a light bulb inside that will warm it up and it will light up. Let's go ahead and start this puppy up and see what it looks like. Okay, I set it up against my floor for now so you guys can take a good look of what it looks like. It has this little light beaming on the floor. Oh my gosh. And it shows the lights throughout the whole castle. And this is the back of it. Look how cute! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for all these new Disney items. I love to collect, but I'm very, very picky choosy. I just don't grab whatever's on the shelf. I have my sentimental value and my, um, my uh, dollar value as well. Um, I like specific things. I don't like everything, so I I choose. I don't have the FOMO idea. If you guys don't know what FOMO is, it's fear of missing out. So that anytime there's a new lounge fly released every month, I don't go and try to um, hunt it down. I will wait a little while and then I will search. Um, unless I absolutely need it. Okay, so that is it for this video. If you guys like this video, thumbs up. Make sure you comment down what was your favorite piece of this video. What do you think about Danielle Nicole compared to Loungefly? And hashtag Walt Disney 50th anniversary. If you got to the end of this video, let me know. And we will see you guys all for another uh, Disney vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.